targeted after Clark complained he wanted to go home. I'm not really having much fun anymore here. Winning the Makahiki mission earned the Purple Team two more idols and changed Clark's attitude. So we won. I don't want to go home anymore. The red team was shocked when the others decided to handicap them in the Kahuna mission. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. Despite their efforts, Drew and Nancy finished last, and they prepared to go home. We all voted off. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Red team! But to everyone's surprise, the red team's offering came out first, allowing them to stay. And it was the yellow team that the Great Kahuna sent home. Which of the three remaining teams will the Great Kahuna cast out next? Stay tuned as the games and the quest for $25,000 continues on Moolah Beach. The Great Kahuna last night was the biggest eye-opener and shocker I've ever had. Like, we're like, okay, see you guys. The first color fell out. I was expecting it to be green or yellow. Red team! Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> when that idol dropped, every happy type of feeling, like, passed through my body. Like, I just couldn't believe it. I was, like, shocked. I was like, what? Red came out? I and mean, they came in last place. I was so scared um, when Red came out first. Like, I just thought, you know, we are over with. It was just down to us and Yellow, and I was like, we're gonna go home. And when it said purple, Summer jumped on me and started screaming in my ear. I didn't think that Yellow was gonna be the team that, that was leaving. I was shocked. I was sad for AJ, but not really for Brittany. I had a really good relationship with Brittany. I gave her a big, huge hug and everything, and she whispered into my ear, she's like, Tell your girlfriend I said hi and that she's got the best thing in the world. And um, that meant a lot. It did because I feel like someone to say that to you is like the best compliment in the world, I guess. So it was really sad to see her go. As more and more people leave, we start depending on each other a little more. It's kind of just like a little small group of friends. It's like so much more calm now that it, like a lot of people are gone. Oh, geez, I know. We haven't really known each other for that long, but I feel like I'm closer to them than, like, most people I see every day. And I think it's really cool that we can share all our feelings and stuff, because we feel so comfortable with everybody. Have you guys noticed it's starting to get a little lonely around here? Three teams are gone, three teams remain. Basically, we're coming down now to final couple days, and one team is going to be going home with $25,000. Red team, you guys are the only ones without any jewelry here. You see the green team, they have two. Purple, they have four. Summer, you got a couple clues too, don't you? Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. Yeah. Got them figured out yet? No. <laughs> kind of, we've we got idea. ideas, but we're not really for sure. Been sharing them with anybody? Um, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Who have you been sharing your clues with? Really? Thanks, guys. Yeah. And, uh... Love you, too. Green team? I suppose you've been sharing your clue with the purple team. Works both ways, yeah. Has it helped any, Kyle? Yes, it has. I mean, these clues to me are something that I would guard if I won one of those and keep it so private. Why help another team? I just felt that it was, a, it was the right thing to do at the time, so... So this is a game of chess for you? Yeah. Because obviously you're sharing with purple, but everyone's left red in the dust. They have no clues. They have no idols. You gonna share with them? I don't know. Fine, that means if we get something, we're not gonna share with them. So the tone of the game's changing a little bit. This is it, everybody. This is the final Makahiki mission. We call this one Rope House. Oh, God. And because it's the final mission, we're gonna up the stakes a little bit. The winner gets two idols. Come in second place, and you get one. Come in last place, and you get none. This game's gonna take speed, strength, and brains. Now, I don't know if you know this, but ancient islanders had to use a lot of tricks to build houses. One of those tricks was braided coconut fibers that was used as rope to reinforce all the joints of the house. You guys are gonna honor this ancient tradition by building a house. In front of each of you are gonna be five posts and a pile of rope. You're gonna build your house by threading the rope through the top of the post. 
until an outline of a house is formed, including an X in the middle. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You cannot go over the same line twice. If you do, you're going to have to go back. There's only enough rope to go through it all once. Get in position. Red team, you're over here. Purple, you're here. Green, you're over there. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Do that. Come on, Go. You're gonna have to cross. You have to make an X. I know. We will. Come on. Keep threading it. Keep threading. Give me some slack. Give me go back. Here. Yeah. When you can't thread it through more than once. No, you can't do. You can't do that. Come here. Slack, slack. Come on, come on, come on. Here, go. go. First try? Yeah. Unbelievable job. You got two idols, and as you know, that's going to give you four, which is going to tie you with purple. Excellent work. Red team, how about this? Yes, we got two red. <laughs> Yesterday, last place, all of a sudden you stay, and now what do you have? A jewelry. Idol. That's right, you that's got right. an idol. Nice job. You guys worked together, you picked up the slack in the end, and you did it. We're going to visit Idol Village a little bit later on today. In fact, we'll probably do it around sunset. So you guys have the afternoon to think about this, and you guys have the afternoon to figure out which one you're going to wear come sunset, okay? All right. Good job, good job, green team. I'll see you guys tonight. <laughs> The last game was a mental strategy game. Kyle and I kind of discussed uh, which points to go through. And yeah. I stayed there, and uh, I brought the slack in. Yes. Because that's the most important thing. Yes, most slack. definitely. Because we knew how to do it. <laughs> this is like our biggest victory so far. We got it. We finished second. That's OK. We still got one eye. <laughs> I get to wear it. No, we both get to I, wear it. I get it. to wear it because we I, I figured it out. It. She didn't figure it no, out. No, we both get to she wear it. She just cut the slack. I don't know. I kind of felt bad that I kind of put my team in jeopardy or whatever because I think um, part of us losing was my fault. When you can't thread it through more than once. You can move this way. No, you can't do. You can't do that. Come here. Well, I told her, I'm like, I know the exact route to go. Just deal with the slack and we'll be fine. And she basically just stood there. Yesterday we came second to last, and today we're last. And um, it's kind of upsetting. I'm afraid that we're sinking. And I don't like that. I mean, I was just mad that we didn't trust each other. Well, now that everyone has idols, um, it's going to be sort of tough because we'll now have four, and purple will have four total, and uh, red will have one. Oh, what was that about? No jewelry? Now it's on. We're serious, and we're ready to kick some butt so we can win. We're not letting go of it without a fight. And there's beautiful women on Mula Beach. Summer looks very good in a bathing suit. He's been walking the line between cheating and not cheating. Oh, my God! <laughs> 
Want the scoop on moolah? Then log on to moolahbeach.com and check out everything moolah. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Meet the players, discover the true meaning of the 13 idols of the island, and check out behind-the-scenes action that we could never show you on TV. I did a lot of things that you know, I, I knew I was going to regret. Plus, find out how you can chat live with the last team that got booted off the beach. At moolahbeach.com, if the sun doesn't burn you, someone else will. Having this idol is extremely important because it may hold the $25,000, you never know. We're thinking about choosing the hula as our idol. We decided on an idol based on what we like to do because we have no other way of knowing what idol to pick because unlike with each other, they haven't shared their clues. They all know that I like to dance, which is why we're picking hula. So they kind of have an, an idea. They're getting hula, and that's not one of them because of our clues. We're positive about, you know, the fact that Kula Look will not contain it. it. But, you know, Nancy's so stuck on, you know, the god of dance, and she loves to dance that she's just not giving it much thought. I think Red's going to pick Kula. It's probably a bad choice. <laughs> Green team, congratulations for winning the final Makahiki mission. That entitles you to two more idols, two of the seven left remaining on Mula Beach, not to mention the final secret clue. Let me remind you guys, the first Makahiki mission, you won. You got to pick two idols. You've now won the last Makahiki mission, and you get to pick two more. So now's the moment of truth. Do you already have the money, or are you going to pick the money? We'll see. Shari, you're up first. Which idol do you think has the cash? Fish. Fish, Papio. Go ahead and grab that. As you place that around your neck, realize you might be wearing $25,000. However, you might be wearing nothing, no value at all. As long as you stay on Moolah Beach, though, those are yours. Kyle, things seem to be going pretty much your way for the green team so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You think maybe you got your eye on the one that has the money in it? I think so. Which one's it going to be? I think ocean. Ocean. A Hill Hawaiian ocean. word? Moana. Go ahead and grab it. You guys are now tied for the lead. Four idols. Purple has four idols. Way to go. I guess you're going to be wanting the final clue, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Have any of the clues so far helped you to maybe eliminate certain idols? Yes. Okay, maybe this one will help you eliminate a couple more. We'll see. Hold on to that, and uh, good luck. Red team, come on up here. Finally, a little jewelry, huh? Yes. Can't offer you any more clues. I've already passed all four of them out. But maybe now you guys have something on the bargaining table to use as leverage. Yeah. We'll see. Have you discussed collectively which idol you think has the $25,000 grand prize? Yes. Yeah. And uh, which ones are going to be? Hula. Hula. Yeah. Interesting that the first day, the first time you saw Nancy, she was doing what? Dancing. Dancing. Yeah. Little hula for us, Nance? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice job. All right, go grab that one. <laughs> Who's going to wear it, Drew? Nancy will. What a romantic. Nice job. First day he sees you, you're hula dancing. And now you're wearing hula. Remember, Nancy, purple may have four. Green may have four. All you need is the one that has the money in it. One could be enough. As long as you stay on Moolah Beach, you're still in the game, OK? All right, go ahead and take a seat. Uh, I can turn a blind eye to, to the, the islands, islands and, and also to you, for I hold no prize. Ah, oh, I know is... what this is. You know? A blind eye. This hurricane. Is hurricane. Hurricane. Eye of the storm. Right. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is like. <laughs> okay. That's that's a lot easier than our other one. That's for sure. I'm almost positive on that one. Almost positive. If you're wrong, I'm a kicker butt. Everybody's eyes went to this. Anybody want the coconut? No. 
I feel there may be a romance between Summer and Kyle. I like him, and he's got a girlfriend. She's pushing him to the limits. Morning, everybody. Morning. 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 Slide in here. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's interesting now. I come to these breakfasts. First thing you guys look at is the coconut I'm holding. Everybody's eyes went to this before me. How come? Because it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> this is scaring you guys? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the unknown. Because it looks innocent, but every time it, it has something inside. Yeah. yeah. Anybody want the coconut? Sure. You want it? Yes, I do. No. I do. Yeah. Now you guys all yeah. want it, huh? I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. Tell you what, I'll tell you what it is in a second. All right? Okay, cool. But first, I think being here on Moolah Beach has tested all of you, both mentally and physically. You've all learned what you can live without. No TV, no phone, definitely not a nice soft bed, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So today's Kahuna mission, the final Kahuna mission, is going to be the ultimate test. So far, the only team that's been guaranteed to stay on Mula Beach has been the one that places first in the Kahuna mission. Second and third, today the odds are almost even. Second place is going to get five offerings. Third place is going to get four. That's almost a 50-50 chance. And as you saw, coming in second meant one thing for the yellow team. It meant that they were going home. So it shows how important first place is. Let's get to the coconut. Everyone is nervous about this coconut. You know what's in here? Whoa. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh. $25,000 is in here. $250, $100 bills. This is how close you guys are to $25,000. Now you know how serious this is. Yes. This is the last game you guys are going to be playing until it gets down to the final two teams. Now, normally, I hold back a little information from these Kahuna missions. We don't tell you everything. Today is the final Kahuna mission. We're going to make a little bit of a level playing field. I'm going to give you guys all the rules of the game. It's called shark bait. You're going to be suspended seven feet above the ocean. One member of the team crisscrossed over the other member of the team. As long as you stay above the water, you're fine. As soon as you land in the drink, you're done. This is really an endurance game. A game mind over body. Can you take the pain up there? Can you take the exhaustion when your arms and legs are feeling it? Can you take the nerves of being seven feet above the ocean before you take the plunge on in? This is what separates someone who's going to win this game and the next team that's going home. So good luck. Enjoy your breakfast, and I'll see you at the mission. Yo, JD, when we were eating breakfast, totally just, like, came up to us, and he was like, yo, look at this. And he, like, busts open this coconut, right? And he's got $25,000 in this coconut. I mean, in cash, dude. Cash, cold, hard cash, $25,000. Seeing the money kind of brought it into perspective, and shows you that you are really going to win $25,000. Seeing that, money changed a lot. Now we are more motivated to winning. Now we want to, like, we don't care what it takes to win. Seeing that wad of money did not change my determination because I already am determined. I want the money. We went snorkeling today. I must have swallowed like a gallon of seawater. My stomach is feeling bleh. I'm excited about going um, snorkeling because I've never been. Me and Summer were uh, snorkel partners. That's the first time I've ever gone snorkeling. Um, I kept on getting salt water in my mouth, though, so it tastes really bad. I picked Summer to go snorkeling with because I get along with her more. And plus, I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> I guess because summer also looks very good in a bathing suit. I feel there may be a little bit of romance between Summer and Kyle. I mean, I don't blame Kyle that much. I mean, there's beautiful women on Moola Beach, but, you know, he does have a girlfriend, and he needs to respect that. I guess the reason why I can stay around Kyle, even though, like, I like him and he's got a girlfriend, is just because I feel like I can talk to him about almost anything. She's probably the easiest to talk to out of anybody here. It just goes to show, like, what people turn out to be like if you just give them a chance. At first, you were a totally different person. Like, how was I different? You didn't talk. <laughs> yeah, I did. I just didn't talk to you. I think I really have opened up towards Kyle. I think he's, like, probably one of the best guys I think I've ever met, and he's really been there for me. Summer's a very beautiful girl, and she's, like, such a great friend to me. He's starting to like her. He said if, if she kissed him, he'd kiss her back. I'm like, so you're thinking about breaking up with, girl, with your girlfriend? He's like, I don't know yet, maybe. I don't think he would. I, I think that when he goes back, He's, realized, yeah, he's going to realize how much he misses her. I just kind of want her to stop pushing him. Because she's pushing him to the limit. The funny thing is she's like, oh, I respect his girlfriend. I would never try to do anything anyway. He's got a girlfriend. That's so, that's the biggest lie I think I've heard from her. Clark is a very jealous person. But he tries not to show it, but you can tell. Like, if I'm talking to Kyle, he'll just stand there and just, like, have this meanest look on his face. I think I am jealous of Kyle a bit, just because, like, all the girls think of him as the perfect guy, and I don't think I'm much different from him. Where I come from, I don't want to sound conceited or anything, but I'm like the Kyle. The thing is, like, your girlfriend's going to see this. Well, yeah, I know. But, I mean, I'm innocent right now. Like, I think Summer's kind of hoping that you're going to get to know her enough where you break up with your girlfriend and go out with her, because she said that many times. She did? Yeah, she said that to Nancy and all the girls. A lot of people have been talking about it. I just think that you guys think that, because at first, I didn't say a word to Summer. And I guess that she's the only girl that I talk to now. Mm -hmm. He knows Summer likes him, and he likes her too, but he's been walking the line between cheating and not cheating. I mean, he's been walking the line. Who can handle the pressure? No! Not easy. Drew, you all right? No! no! Ah! Ah! Serious fears are probably going to, you know, kick in, most definitely, in shark bait, um, because of, you know, her fear of heights and water put together. So far, my biggest fear is falling and hitting that water. But that might just motivate me to not drop. So it can work both ways. I'm going to do my best. I know you're going to do your best. But she will be on the bottom. So just in case the fears overtake her and she falls, I'm still up there. And I won't let go. I won't. I think you should be on top. Yeah, but I'm shorter than you. And if you're popping up, I'm not going to go over you. And that's five feet. And I'm going to drop it five feet. That's right. I'll win this game. I really want that money. I don't care if my arms fall off. I will hang on there until tomorrow if it, that's all it takes. But it's going to be really hard. I hope that my dance background does help me because I know my legs are going to hold the pain a lot longer, but my arms aren't really used to the pain. But I know that if I'm going to want to win the 25000 I'm going to have to take all the pain. You're going to hear me screaming. That is going to be a lot. That's going to be very painful. I think since me and Clark have been in gymnastics, it should help just because, you know, we've done, like, the uneven bars and the um, high bar and parallel bars. Me and Summer just instantly knew we have this made. I'm like, you know, we've got this one, and he's like, yeah, I know. We're first place people. We're getting first. Yep. My big strategy for this game is I'm going to try and make the other team laugh so they'll fall. Hopefully you guys will be downwind of me so you can smell my stench and fall. <laughs> That's the only way you can hurt each other. There's the only way you can just mentally psych them out. Here we are, everybody. This is the final Kahuna mission, and it's going to be called Shark Bait. This mission is going to test your endurance to really see who can't take the pressure. I showed you that money earlier. Now we're going to see who wants it the most. It's going to be a test of skill, strength, and mind over body. In ancient Hawaiian times, when the willy willy tree was in bloom, nobody would go in the water. It's because they fear shark attacks. The most shark attacks would occur when the willy willy tree was in bloom. Take a look. This willy willy tree is in bloom, and you guys are shark bait. 
All three teams are atop their shark bait feeders. You're going to be laying crisscross, one over the other. You got to hold on as long as you can. The last team to have at least one team member up on the shark bait feeder is getting 10 offerings when we get to the Great Kahuna. Second place, that'll get you five. If you're the first one to fall in the drink, you're only getting four. Who has the endurance to last? Who wants first place more than any other team? We're going to find that out right now. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Everybody get into position. On your mark. Get set. Go. Hello. Hello, can you talk to me? Summer. Summer, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Summer, how you doing? Shut up. Summer! Summer, can you hear me? Shut up, please. Summer! Oh! Look back. Who wants it the most? Who can handle the pressure? $25,000 riding on this game, guys. Oh, it's bad! Ah! Hey, don't scream like that! Ah! No! Sherry? You can't take it, jump in. If you can't take it, let go. If one of you falls, the other one can stay. There's two teammates. There's two teammates. Good job. You guys held out a long time. Game of endurance. How long can you guys last? Not much longer. We can stay here all day. You are not leaving. You do not even think about that. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Allie, you look awfully calm over there. Boy, am I going to be sore tonight. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Nancy. I'm about to fall. I'm seriously. I'm not falling, dude, so you better go now. Yeah! Fire it up! Come on, dude. You can't do it. Think happy thoughts. Think of some hot girls. Stop! Stop! Would it be better? I'm about to. I'm serious. Hey, you want me to fall? I'll let you guys know she fell on purpose, because I told her to. Be totally honest. 
Are you tired? Yeah, you told me that you could block out pain. I'm going back over here. You better stay up there. I'm going to be really mad. Stay up there, please. team you had the most will of the other teams you lasted the longest quite a bit of endurance you were up there a long long time your team is going to the great kahuna in first place with 10 idols purple team you hung on a real long time as well you're going with five idols to the great kahuna and red team you're offering is going to be four sunset's only a couple hours away one more team when we get to the great kahuna is on their way home and we'll have our two finalists See you guys up at the Great Kahuna. Have a good swim in. That is the most painful thing I've ever done. Oh, my back! I felt it through my back, through my arms. Ah! Ah! I felt it in my pinky. Shut up, Drew! <sighs> I wish I could have stayed on longer. It was very, very painful. I was just hoping, not, of course, not to fall. My arms are buckling. <laughs> My knees are strained. And I was just screaming. Ah! It sounded awful, too. Nah. You said your will. No! Share it! Ah! I could have kept on longer, but um, it was easier for him if I wasn't on there. OK, do you want me to fall? And it really was easier for me because I, I had more freedom of movement, and it did get easier for a while. Whoa. I knew I was going to fall. Just kidding! Because I, I looked over at Kyle, and I just saw the look on his face, and he was just... Comfortable? He was just, like, lounging out, you know. Drew, you all right? No! I was like, oh, well, you know, if I'm going out, why not go out memorably? No! I don't know if Clark would be able to stay up much longer. I think he was kind of getting discouraged by him. Um, Kyle. Not easy. If it makes you feel any better, I'm getting a little tired. A little? Because Kyle, you know, wasn't showing any signs of getting tired, and he was. Kyle, be totally honest. Are you tired? But I think I sort of scared Clark because he was um, in a lot of pain, and I didn't show any. And so that sort of discouraged him, and I think that's why he took it as hard as he did, because he went down in pain, and I, you know, won without pain, I guess. That's it. Game over. If we really want to win it, we've got to try a lot harder than what we just did back there. I know we could have pulled it off, and it just kind of upsets me that um, we didn't do it, and we didn't do as good as I know we could have. And it kind of scares me, you know, because we could be going home today, and I really hope that doesn't happen. Tonight, we're going to the Great Kahuna, and I'm very nervous. Every time is scarier and scarier. Now that it gets down to the wire, it's very tense. Want the scoop on moolah? Then log on to moolahbeach.com and check out everything moolah. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Meet the players, discover the true meaning of the 13 idols of the island, and check out behind-the-scenes action that we could never show you on TV. I did a lot of things that you know, I, I knew I was going to regret. Plus, find out how you can chat live with the last team that got booted off the beach. At moolahbeach.com, if the sun doesn't burn you, someone else will. You know, I have a feeling that today is our last day. And um, if we do go, I want you guys to know that the friends that I made are worth more than $25,000. Every time I go to that uh, great kahuna ceremony, every time is scarier and scarier.
we're going to the Great Kahuna, and I'm very nervous about what's going to happen. Last time we came in last, but, but we came out first. But I don't know if, if that will happen again. We're in second place, but we're second to last also, so we're scared about that. I don't want to leave yet at all. I really don't, because, I mean, I'm going to miss all these people here, because they're really nice, and um, I made a lot of great friends. Now that it gets down to the wire, it's very tense because now that we're so close, we want to stay. You know the group is getting smaller and smaller, and the chances of you leaving are greater and greater. This is the last kahuna ceremony. With only three teams left, your chance of staying on Mula Beach are getting worse. One of you could be wearing the winning idol right now. Nothing like getting asked to leave and then passing over $25,000 to another team. No matter what happens up here, one team is going to be passing idols to somebody else. Kyle, you know George Foreman, the boxer? Yes. He once told me that the way to win a fight is to never let the other fighter see your pain. No matter how much pain you're in, you convince them that you could go all day. Is that what you did out there? My hands are numb, but I didn't show it. Because you were sure acting like you could go on forever. I could have gone on longer. Seems like he's still playing the game, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Red team, you came in last place in the last Kahuna mission. Yet, you're still here. In fact, Nancy, I see something in here. What is this? It's the idol that fell out in the last ceremony. That's the offering that when you were in last place, it came out first. Is that good luck? Yes, I'm hoping. OK. I guess it's time. The Great Cahoon is going to decide who's going to stay and who's going to go. I think you guys know how this works. With you, you brought an offering. You won during the Kahuna mission, one at a time, you're going to approach the Great Kahuna and make your offering. Don't forget, the more idols you have, the better your chances. Green team, you've got 10. Purple, you've got five. Red, you've got four. You're playing the odds here. When the Kahuna comes alive, one team's idol is going to fall into his mouth. That lucky team gets to stay on Moolah Beach. Now remember, we're only going to do it twice. The one remaining team is going to be exiled from the beach. And we'll have our two finalists. Is everybody ready? Green team, can I have your offering? Good luck. Purple team, Summer, come on up here. You guys earned the five. Nice job. Red team, is it going to be lucky number four? We'll see. Good luck. Now it's time for the Great Kahuna to give us his decision on who are our two final teams who are going to remain on the beach. Great Kahuna, your first decision. First team staying on Moolah Beach. Green team. You guys are staying. Nice job. Green team, can you guys slide down for me? The other two teams slide on in. This is it. One team stays and one team goes. Final team to stay on Moolah Beach. Purple and red. I feel my heart beating fast. Mm -hmm. So I know yours must be beating just as fast. So it all comes down to the great kahuna. He'll make the final decision. Here it comes.
final team to stay on Mula Beach. Purple team. Purple team gets to stay. Red team, you guys did an amazing job. You lasted a long time. Excellent effort. Red team, it's now an important decision that you need to make, OK? I want you to stand there. Green team, come on in here. You guys have an idol that needs to be passed on. This is the first time that's happened. You either need to give your idol to the green team or to the purple team. Who do you want to give it to and why? Purple. Because Clark has just been like a brother to me throughout this whole thing. I just I love this guy. Go ahead and place it around his neck. Thanks. Nice job. Boat's waiting for you guys. It was great having you. Take care. You guys now see what happens. The purple team just took the lead. They've got five idols. Green team, you have four. But there's now only two teams left, both trying to get that $25,000. You've earned yourselves another night on Moolah Beach. Enjoy it. I'm a little bummed about leaving, but, you know, it's, it's life, you know. Things happen like this. It's just meant to be. I'm not really upset, you know. I stayed here longer than I thought I would. Oh, I'm going to miss you. That is so good. I feel I'd be happiest seeing Purple win because Kyle betrayed me, and that hurt, and that kind of hurt our relationship. Kyle basically can't be trusted as a person because he says one thing and he does another. And I don't like people that do that. Clark and I were just really close. I feel that he deserves it more. Thank you so much for the idol. And you're holding me like a girl. I met these people, and in one day, we were like so close. You just learn more about them, and they learn more about you. And they see your natural beauty, and you see theirs. Mula Beach has been the biggest and the greatest experience of my entire life. Later, man. Yeah. yeah. I really hope that they don't get too upset about us leaving, and I really want them to have fun. That's the key. Do whatever it takes to have fun. Never lose that. I've learned how much I could handle and what I can live without, and that I shouldn't take things for granted. And I've learned how to love other people. And just the fact that I've learned that and made a, a new group of friends, I can go home happy anytime. Contestant airfare provided by Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays. On the next Moolah Beach, this is what you've been waiting for. It's now down to you four. It's no longer about friendship. Go! It's all about the Moolah. I think we're gonna win the money. It's the final episode, and you can't afford to miss it. I better win. Moolah Beach, next weekend at 12, 11 Central on Fox Family. The great going to last night was the biggest eye-opener and shocker I've ever had, like... We're like, OK, see you guys. The first color fell out. I was expecting it to be green or yellow. Red team. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> when that idol dropped, every happy type of feeling like passed through my body. Like, I just couldn't believe it. I was like shocked. I was like, what? Red came out? I and mean, they came in last place. I was so scared um, when red came out first. Like, I just thought, you know, we are over with. It was just down to us and yellow. And I was like, we're going to go home. And when it said purple, Summer jumped on me and started screaming in my ear. I didn't think that Yellow was going to be the team that, that was leaving. I was shocked. I was sad for AJ, but not really for Brittany. I had a really good relationship with Brittany. I gave her a big, huge hug and everything, and she whispered into my ear. She's like, tell your girlfriend I said hi and that she's got the best thing in the world. And um, that meant a lot. It did, because for like someone to say that to you is like... Now, I don't know if you know this, but ancient islanders had to use a lot of tricks to build houses. One of those tricks was braided coconut fibers that was used as rope to reinforce all the joints of the house. You guys are gonna honor this ancient tradition by building a house. In front of each of you are gonna be five posts and a pile of rope. 
you're going to build your house by threading the rope through the top of the post until an outline of a house is formed, including an X in the middle. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You cannot go over the same line twice. If you do, you're going to have to go back. There's only enough rope to go through it all once. Get in position. Red team, you're over here. Purple, you're here. Green, you're over there. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Do that. Come on, come on. Go. You're going to have to cross. You have to make an X. I oh, know. We will. Come on. Keep threading it. Keep threading it. Targeted after Clark complained he wanted to go home. I'm not really having much fun anymore here. Winning the Makahiki mission earned the Purple Team two more idols and changed Clark's attitude. So we won. I don't want to go home anymore. The Red Team was shocked when the others decided to handicap them in the Kahuna mission. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. Despite their efforts, Drew and Nancy finished last, and they prepared to go home. We all voted off. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Red Team! But to everyone's surprise, the Red Team's offering came out first, allowing them to stay. And it was the Yellow Team that the Great Kahuna sent home. Which of the three remaining teams will the Great Kahuna cast out next? Stay tuned as the games and the quest for $25,000 continues on Moolah Beach. Really? Thanks, guys. Yeah. And, uh... Love you, too. Green team? I suppose you've been sharing your clue with the purple team. Works both ways, yeah. Has it helped any, Kyle? Yes, it has. I mean, these clues to me are something that I would guard if I won one of those and keep it so private. Why help another team? I just felt that it was, a, it, it was the right thing to do at the time, so... So this is a game of chess for you? Yeah. Because obviously you're sharing with purple, but everyone's left red in the dust. They have no clues. They have no idols. Are you going to share with them? I don't know. Fine. That means if we get something, we're not going to share with them. So the tone of the game's changing a little bit. This is it, everybody. This is the final Makahiki mission. We call this one Rope House. Oh, God. And because it's the final mission, we're going to up the stakes a little bit. The winner gets two idols. Come in second place, and you get one. Come in last place, and you get none. This game's gonna take speed, strength, and brains. Like the best compliment in the world, I guess. So it was really sad to see her go. As more and more people leave, we start depending on each other a little more. It's kind of just like a little small group of friends. It's like so much more calm now that every, like a lot of people are gone. Oh, geez, I know. We haven't really known each other for that long, but I feel like I'm closer to them than like most people I see every day. And I think it's really cool that we can share all our feelings and stuff because we feel so comfortable with everybody. Have you guys noticed it's starting to get a little lonely around here? Three teams are gone, three teams remain. Basically, we're coming down now to final couple days. And one team is going to be going home with $25,000. Red team, you guys are the only ones without any jewelry here. You see, the green team, they have two. Purple, they have four. Summer, you got a couple clues too, don't you? Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. Yeah. Got them figured out yet? No. <laughs> kind of. We've we got idea. ideas, but we're not really for sure. Been sharing them with anybody? Um, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Who have you been sharing your clues with? 